Facebook. Um, my name is Candace Armour, and I'm extremely excited to share with you guys today um, a little bit more about how to add some extra streams of income to your life in 2019, okay? Um, and so just for those who are just joining my um my page if you've never heard of me if this is your first time joining me on live i'll briefly introduce myself um, i'm candace armor i am the founder of epic fab girl as well as the founder of candace janae consulting um, epic fab girl is a brand for faith-based career-minded women entrepreneurs um, we help them discover purpose and go after their dreams fearlessly and um, one of the things that we do is we put on our signature go-getter conference um, which is our annual conference and we have a lot of other um, events throughout the year to help women entrepreneurs build and grow their businesses and then we've got um, my business Candice Janae Consulting um, I am a digital marketing uh, brand strategist so basically what I do is I help businesses and brands uh, build from the ground up as well as helping them market their businesses primarily through digital marketing, um, through things such as Facebook, Instagram, ads, stuff like that, okay? And so today I'm talking about um, how you can add extra streams of income to your life in 2019. Um, so I know I have an audience of people that may be, first of all, just let me know, comment, and tell me if you are a, uh, if you're not yet a business owner or if you are already a business owner, um, you can just comment um, on Facebook so that I just kind of know who I'm talking to. Um, but I know that there are two different groups of people that I am primarily focus on. Um, and like I said, that first group is, you know, maybe you're not yet a business owner or maybe you're not yet an entrepreneur, but you want to start adding additional streams of income to your life. I'm going to explain some options for you. Um, and then number two, if you're already a business owner, um, I'm, I'm going to talk through some additional options um, for you to add additional streams of income to what you are already doing, okay? Um, and so uh, how many of you guys can say that you can use some extra income in your life? Just comment yes, like, whatever. And if at ever at any point in this uh, live, you like what you hear, feel free to share it, um, comment, like, share it with people in your audience um, because even if this, may not necessarily be something that you can take action on. Um, it can be something that people in on your timeline need to hear, okay? And so um, I'm going to first talk to those people who are not yet business owners. Um, I'm the person that believes that every person really has a business on the inside of them. Um, and I do not believe that everybody needs to be a full-time entrepreneur in order for them to um, really get you know additional streams of income moving in their life. I um, started my all of my businesses as a side hustle and yes even when i started my businesses at a as a side hustle except for candace janae consulting i finally started that when i launched uh when i quit my full-time job um, but every other business that i had was a side hustle and um it's totally possible to just have a side hustle and a full-time job and that be your thing um, and it's also possible for you to um, have a full-time gig if it's profitable and if it makes money, if it can sustain your lifestyle. And so, um, like I said, you don't have to be a full-time entrepreneur. So that's what I'm just like, I'm prefacing my whole conversation about this because I think a lot of us, um, society adds additional pressure that doesn't necessarily need to be there. Um, a lot of times about like entrepreneurship feeling like you need to just quit your job because you see other people doing it like you don't have to do that okay so if you're not yet a business owner like I said I believe everybody has a business on the inside of them and why I say that is because each of us has gifts talents and abilities that we can use to benefit other people okay so the gifts that God has given us are not for our our direct benefit the gifts that we have are gifts 
and they're supposed to be serving and benefiting other people. And out of serving other people, that is how you are able to generate income. So even if you're not yet an entrepreneur, if you're not yet a business owner, if you don't yet have a side hustle, but you're like, okay, I wanna explore some different options, one of the best ways is to utilize your talents and abilities that you currently have to serve other people. I'm gonna keep it super simple, super basic, because that's all it comes down to, is that serving other people is the way that you can make money off of your gifts and your talents and um, helping other people. Um, and so whatever talents and gifts that you have, so let's say if you know how to make some bomb macaroni and cheese or you know how to make some bomb cupcakes, maybe that's something that you really like, that's a talent, it's a passion, and you realize that a lot of people like it enough to where maybe you should test out um, using th that talent that you have and getting paid to do it. Because a lot of us are doing the very things that we could be getting paid to do, we're doing it for free. Especially if you're not yet a business owner, a lot of times we look at the things that we are already doing. Hi, whoever just wo waved at me. I don't want to, I think your name's Janelle. But um, it's important to utilize the talents that you have to serve other people. So um, for those who are not yet business owners, I want you guys to start to brainstorm gifts and talents that you have. Write those things down. What are you good at? What do people say you're good at? And how can you make money from that? So like if, you're a sh if you like to cook, maybe you should look into catering. If you like to write, maybe you should look into um helping other people become better writers. Maybe if you're a good writer um, and you know how to put resumes together or you're really good at professional services, maybe you can start helping other people learn how to uh, better themselves from the advice that you have. So I, I highly recommend that you look at different areas in your life. Start with your talents, start with your passions, and start with your unique experiences that you have that other people may not have. So you may have like a unique experience that you have worked for, you know, every um, fast food chain in America, maybe like all of like Burger King, Wendy's, McDonald's, maybe you've worked for all of those companies and you, you've seen that, you know, what it's like to work for uh, those companies and you see some areas of improvement that they can have, you then can maybe start to create a blog that feeds into teaching people how to either be better servers if they care about that thing or that's aimed towards um that's aimed towards these uh people that are starting franchises and helping them to be or you can become a consultant for fast food um for fast food franchise owners you like you have to realize that there are unique experiences that you have that can be monetized okay so that's if you're not yet a business owner you can begin to start to think about that stuff okay now on the other side if you are already an entrepreneur this is where the good stuff is going to come in okay so you're an entrepreneur you've started your business you're making your money Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you do think this is, is good. Make sure that you share this on your timeline. Tag a friend that you think needs to hear this. Um, that definitely helps me spread the message and let helping me to help serve other people. Um, so thank you, and I appreciate all the love and the hearts. Thank you, Felicia, for giving me that young heart. Um, so next thing's next. Okay, so. Um, now we're talking about just exploring different options to add additional streams of income to your life in 2019. And um, why I'm thinking about 2019 is because it's November and, you know, I mean, it's not yet November, but basically November is this week. So you should start exploring different options to uh, and start planning for it now. When you see people making money like today, they're not making money overnight. This was something that they planned for a long time ago. So when you see someone posting, hosting an event, they didn't plan that event last night. They planned that event months in advance. So whatever it is that you desire to do, all of these things, I'm coming to you with this information because these are things that you need to start planning about, planning for now and exploring different ways to make money, okay? 
So if you're already an entrepreneur, and these are even for new uh, for people that are getting started, these are great ways to add additional streams of income. And I'm just gonna go through a couple different ideas, um, and um, and not and not and not every. I'm not. It's not an exhaustive list, but it is um, content that I feel like you can use to make money off of your gifts and talents, okay? So if you are currently an entrepreneur, the first thing that I think every entrepreneur or every expert should be doing to make additional money is speaking, okay? Speaking at events, okay? As an entrepreneur, you should be positioning yourself as an expert to give information about your area of expertise. So for example, Candace Janae Armour is an MBA. I have my MBA. I love marketing. I love branding. I love all those things. So when I go places, I'm going to speak on those topics. I'm going to speak about branding. Why? Because I'm positioning myself as an expert in the area of brand of branding and marketing. Um, so I want you to look at speaking as a way to generate money for multiple different reasons. So speaking, you can either benefit from getting directly paid as a speaker. So you can go, you know, get, get paid to speak on a panel or get paid to speak at events, get paid to be a keynote speaker. And if you're not yet a speaker and you've never, you know, you don't feel like you're, you're a good fit to be a speaker, start speaking for free to get experience. Because even speaking for free is good when you have products for people to sell. Um, it's a gateway for people to know about you and your business. And it's a gateway for them to understand that you are an actual expert in your area. So one of the strategies that I use is that I host a ton of events. But every time I'm hosting events, that is a way for me to get more clients. Why? Because when I speak at events, people are like, wow, Candace is great at branding. She had all these great ideas. Wow, she's amazing. And then, bam, they want to work with me. So that speaking is a really great way to generate income, not only from getting paid to speak, but to help you to get more exposure so that down the line you can get more clients or you can sell more of your products. And most of the time, if you have a speaking event, you can have a vendor table and you can sell whatever you already currently sell, okay? So I don't care if you're a restaurant owner. I don't care if you, are, you own a jewelry company. I don't care if you have a cleaning company. You should be speaking on panels to be an entrepreneur as an entrepreneur giving your expertise in a certain area in a certain field because that is opening the door for you to make more money in the long run now not everybody likes to speak in front of crowds maybe that's not your thing but i absolutely even if you're going to speak and motivate children in high schools they high schools have budgets to pay you to speak okay and so make sure that you are uh, positioning yourself even if you want to be a motivational speaker or in those spaces even your story is what can motivate people okay and and what people people pay for good content and people pay for um, a, a good experience and so that's what essentially they're gonna pay for so thing number one item number one to add an additional stream of income to your life you should do speaking opportunities public speaking all of that stuff, all that jazz. Number two. Now, this second one is really near and dear to my heart. I don't think that everybody is fit or cut out to do this, but it is an idea for you to generate additional income, and that is through events, okay? Through hosting events. I host events, I host conferences, I um, also help a lot of my clients put on events and conferences to generate income, to build their brand. And the thing about hosting events is that events will help you make money for your brand for multiple reasons, but it will also get, allow for you to have, gain more exposure for your brand. So when you're hosting events, you're bringing a bunch of people into a space and creating an atmosphere that is desirable for them and their experience there, they'll talk about it, and, and you forget, sometimes we forget that 
word of mouth is often the best way of marketing um, is what people have to say about a brand and the, the real way for people to feel something to feel an experience a lot of times is through an event and yes you can feel an experience when you unbox a product and but it only lasts for a few moments but events are life-changing for people events are life-changing people meet make lifelong connections at events they um get inspiration at events and so events are a really great way to uh, generate income and revenue for your business but even if you host free events you can absolutely make money off of free events I host free events and at my free events um, I am always getting clients I'm getting clients uh, by way of them wanting to work with me never having been exposed to me but having this desire to work with me so do not discount um, events but like I said events are not for everybody it's it, putting on events is tough like it can be tough but you don't have to go big for your first event um, a lot of my my first events were like 15 to 30 people and they were really uh, impactful and I'm really big on impact and influence and I, I believe that what you do with your impact and influence will really help you to um uh will help you as you move forward as an entrepreneur and you know that will help you make more money in the long run but i think that hosting events will help you really to impact lives in a meaningful way okay and so number three is merchandise okay so of course this is the the one that a lot of people go to you have a brand put your t-shirt Put a, put, a, put your logo on a t-shirt, put a cute saying on a t-shirt, make it original, make it unique, make it cool, make it edgy, make it appeal to your ideal audience and sell it. Like, I think a lot of people overlook the opportunity. Like if you are speaking at an event and you go and speak, people want to buy something from you because they're like, oh, we support you. We're here for what you're doing. And a lot of you guys that may may also attend vendor events all the time and you're like, man, no one ever buys my stuff. Well, it might be because you're not being strategic about how you're selling your, your stuff. Um, and maybe you need to position yourself to be a speaker at these events so that you can also sell your, your, your products and have a reason for people to actually want to purchase products from you. So... Hey, Wanda, I saw you just joined, and my friend Natalia. Hey, y'all. Um, but even you guys are both great examples of people that have content that people want, and you should be positioning yourself as a speaker, um, as someone who is an expert in your field that is teaching other people and is able to make money off of the products that you create, okay? So merchandise is extremely important. You can put together mugs, pens, notebooks, all types of stuff, but don't just go out and buy all type of stuff and it just look trash. You definitely want to put thought into it and make sure that it appeals to your target audience, um, but you want to have something so that when people are like, okay, how can I support you? People want something tangible and of value and that's not going to fall apart, okay? Um, and number four, if you're already an entrepreneur and you already have a current set of services and or maybe you have a current set of products, one of the, one of the ways that you can really tap into an additional stream of income is by uh, surveying your audience and asking them what they need or and, and not just surveying your audience like the people that are already like on your email list but surveying your current clients like people who have already purchased from you people who have already you know that you know they're gonna they're invested and they want to spend money with you ask them okay what can I help you with is there anything that you need from me um, because a lot of times we're offering services or we're offering things excuse me, we're offering services or things for people, but we're not exploring the additional opportunities to give more to the people that are already buying. And so um, see if you can get new clients or new services for your clients, new products. So let's say you have a mug, right? Maybe one of your products is a mug, but maybe in serving your clients, you find out that they want a mug holder. And you're like, wow, I never even thought to offer a, a, a mug holder, but I didn't think that they wanted this. But you have to ask people. You have to ask them what they want from you. And then that's how you be able to figure out what 
um, what you can give them that actually adds value, okay? So number four is to add new services or products to your existing clients. And when I say clients, I mean people who have already paid money, who have already bought into what you are doing, repeat purchases, all of that stuff. Though that's You can make more money off the people that have already made, that have already bought from you because you know they, in some way, bang with what you're doing, okay? Number five is to teach people something. Is there a way that you can package the information that you know and sell it? Teach people through content. Teach people through courses. Teach people through what you know. All of the information that you know, there is somebody out there that wish they knew what you know. Even you don't have to be a millionaire yet. You don't have to have broken the hundred thousand dollars a year mark in your business. You don't have to have done any of that for you to teach someone else how to get to where you are now. A lot of us uh, block our blessings because we're like, okay, but I'm not there yet and I haven't done that. No, you should not be telling people how to do something that you ain't never done before, ever. Don't do that. That's terrible. Like, why would you, like, don't do that. That's bad business. But you can absolutely teach people how to get to where you got. So perfect example for me, how to start your own consulting company, how to build a brand from the ground up, how to get brand sponsorships. And um, even even with that, if you've done it one time, that does not make you an expert at it, but it does mean that you have a wealth of knowledge. Um, if you've done it multiple times, that you have a wealth of knowledge that people want to hear. But don't be going out there just acting like you're an expert at something because you did something one time. But at the same time, you do need to make sure that you know and remember and remind yourself, okay, there is information that I do have that people may want to hear um, that will help them get to their next level. For me, a really great example is for me, uh, whenever people are asking you something consistently, like, how did you do this? How did you make that happen? Oh my God, you do this so cute. Like, how do you do that? When people ask you the same questions all the time, that means that they're looking for value in a place that they haven't been able to find it yet. And so you can be the one that provides the value in that space for them, okay? And so when you do that, through creating this course content um, or through creating like um, just different content, like um, you just wanna package what you know and sell it. When you do that, you're opening the door for people to do what you've been able to do. And so for me, by putting on events, a lot of people wanna pick my brain about hosting events. So I put together content. I have a course that helps you learn how to plan an event from, from idea to reality, okay? I break down all of the steps. So that's how I was able to create something and package it and sell it to my audience, because why? They kept asking me, okay, how did you do that? This was your first conference, this was your first event. Oh wow, you took your event series to Dallas, LA, um, St. Louis, you went on tour with an event, how did you do that? When people begin to ask you the same things all the time, begin to take note, and create a resource that will help them do that very thing that they've been asking you to do and make them pay for it because it took your time. That's another thing, okay? Now, I know this ain't on my list, but don't be afraid to charge people. Like, people wanna, want your information, especially if you're the type of person like me that is on Facebook Live, that is always giving away content. Like, I have YouTube, I have, like, you can find me in so many different places where I'm adding value to your life. I'm adding value, if you're on my email list, you're getting free tips, you're getting all types of stuff. If you're, if you're always giving away free stuff and never asking for people to pay for the services, like, you're not gonna make any money. Like, you're just not. So I think the important thing is to make sure that you're not afraid to ask for that coin. Like, yes, here's this service that I offer and it is a hundred dollars or, you know, here is whatever it is. And don't be afraid to charge people, especially if you're giving away content for free and often. Okay. Um, number six is that another stream of income that you can add is consultation services. So maybe, um, you know, if you are a personal trainer, 
and you have so many people that want to connect with you, but they don't live in the same city as you. Um, maybe you can do weight consultations or like, you know, they charge them for them coming, telling you, hey, here's what, you know, I'm struggling with. Here's what I, where I want to go. And you diagnosing like, hey, here's what I think you need to do and giving them recommendations, doing a consultation on workouts that they can do. So these are these are ways that you can add additional streams of income to your current business and what you're currently offering. And even if, you know, maybe you're an influencer and people want to know how did you grow your audience? How did you can do a consultation with them instead of everybody being like, oh, let me pick your brain. How did you do that? Be unapologetic. It's like, it's a business. In order for me to make money, and in order for me to impact people, I it, you have to pay because everything in life ain't free. And at the end of the day, I think a lot of people want to have information without investment. And they forget that it took a lot for you to get to where you are. Um, and so remind yourself when you're setting your prices for your products and for your services that there was blood, sweat, and tears required for you to get to where you are so you know whether you're selling a product or a service that there was some type of investment that you had to make on the front end so don't be afraid to ask for people to make an investment to make that purchase okay so no matter what business you have no matter whatever it is that you're doing you can always add a consultation service on top of that um, but I go, I really reserve that stuff for people that are actually that like, you got to no, 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 what you're doing. You don't want to act like you're a brand strategist or brand consultant if that's not what you are and you only launched one business and you don't have any type of expertise in branding, right? You want to consult only on what you know and what you know well, and you want to make sure that you have results because do it being a consultant you want to make sure that your whoever it is that you're working with can say that they've gotten results and not just you know oh this was so fun this was so nice. no like what were the results how like what type of money did they make how did they you know build their brands and businesses what type of things that they do because of the advice that you gave them um so that's really really important and number seven is something really important and I think that uh, every person and this all ties into even with speaking and it, events and merchandise is that you should have a physical book okay you should have a physical book now do you have to write an entire book that is like the story of Candace Janae Armour and how she got to where she is in life no your book doesn't have to be like that but you can have a book that is in alignment with whatever it is that you like whatever uh, services that you already offer so um, for someone who maybe is a personal trainer you can have a, a guide to healthy eating right and that can be a book that has 10 steps and you elaborate on those 10 steps and you sell that when you go places so that your content can travel with people and it's a $20 investment which isn't anything to them really so you want to make sure that you're all that you have a book or some type of merchandise so I know a lot of people are like ooh I want to write a book okay yes write a book but make sure that it's in alignment with the me your message um, so for me I wrote a book on purity that is in alignment with my message but in every room that I go into, I'm not necessarily able to sell that that book about purity because I talked about about branding. I can't go into a room talking about branding and be like, "Here's my purity book." Like people don't want to see that. Not if the, the, I the, I may have some copies there, but that's not going to be the primary thing that I'm I'm offering because that is not in alignment with what I said I was offering. Or what I spoke about okay and so I really hope that this helps you guys I'm gonna briefly go back over this and outline um, some of the things that you guys can do if you're already an entrepreneur um, if you're not already on my list I highly recommend that you get on it um, and I'm always sending out free um, tips advice and 
for Epic Fab Girl, we also have a ton of events going on. So if that is something you're interested in being a part of, of that community, you definitely want to make sure that you're plugged in and engaged there. Um, and if you have questions, definitely let me know. Um, like I said, the seven additional streams of income that I touched on today is number one, speaking. Number two, events. Three, merchandise. Four, new services for your existing clients, new products or services for your existing clients. Number five is teach something, so package what you know and um, sell it. Number six is consultations, so setting up consultations to help people learn what you already know. And number seven is write a book. Have some type of content that sells. And that book doesn't necessarily even have to be a published book. It can be a digital download that you that's $27. Like that has content, you know? So you have to you have to figure out how can you package what you know and sell it and make money in the process by serving people's needs. Okay. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I appreciate those who have liked, commented, that have said something. If you have any friends that you know um, would benefit from hearing this, definitely share it with them. And um, I will be back on Wednesday and I'm going to be doing a uh, live branding Q&A. So literally you can come with whatever questions that you have about business and entrepreneurship and I'm going to answer them. So if you're, you know, this is, I, people pay for my consulting services. So if you want to get free questions, free advice um, that people typically have to pay for for your business, hop on over on my live. It's going to be Wednesday at 6 p.m. So I know some of y'all, you know, may celebrate Halloween and may take y'all kids out, but this will be a good day for you to stay inside and come kick it with me and get some free information on Wednesday. So I love you guys and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, be blessed and I love you.